and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some ephemeral Katarina. This deck is going to be fun. This is a deck that I was definitely looking forward to playing today. So this was a donation deck. This was one that I put together. You can also do that as well. If you um, have like an idea, but you want me to build the deck for you, I can do that. And that's what this one was. Um, the idea was play a deck with Elise, Callista, and Katarina, two of these three, or pretend, or all three, you know, those for the champions. And I, I decided to go with Callista and Katarina and make an ephemeral deck with those. And so we're going to have, you know, our ephemeral Shark Chariot deck um, with the thinking that Katarina can give you some extra attacks that you'll be able to, you know, get extra attacks with your Shark Chariot. That that could be uh, pretty cool. Plus, I love Katarina with Ephemeral stuff. This card is amazing with Ephemeral. So, like, basically, you can, um, you know, you can use Oblivious Islander and give Katarina Ephemeral and make Katarina cost two mana. And that's incredible because whenever, whenever Katarina strikes, uh, then she's, you know, like, you level her up and then recall her. And so she'll still go back to your hand, even if she's Ephemeral. Like, she doesn't die, um, you know, like, with ephemerals like whenever they strike they die but katarina strikes and then does the recall like that happens before she would die so like that's just really cool and so i, I like that um so you know we have that going on and then plus uh we can go oblivious islander on captain farron because you know, like these shark chariot decks they kind of struggle with finishing the game out well now we have 8-8 captain farron that creates three decimates that can certainly finish games out and so we can make captain farron also cost less with the Oblivious Islander 2, or, you know, we can, of course, do, like, the Shark Chariot costs less, all that kind of stuff. Um, but let's see, and then and then we're going with Katarina, or we're going with Callista as our other champion, that, you know, we should be able to have three things die. We have, like, our Blighted Caretakers, of course, our different ephemeral stuff. Um, we have the Haunted Relics that could have some things die. House Spiders are just in here for some defense. You know, those things can die. We can have some stuff die for Callista to level up. And then once Callista levels up, then it brings, then Callista attacks, brings in an ephemeral, which brings in shark chariots and so on. Uh, this is, of course, the best thing. You know, this is like the best ephemeral. We have this against the aggro decks, but then it's a 5-5. Five five, so like leveled up Callista could bring in dark water scourges back into play. That's pretty awesome if that happens. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our deck. We, we're going to be doing some cool things like Mark of the Isles, turning some things ephemeral to get shark chariot back. At burst speed, same with like sapling toss, um, while the opponent's not really expecting it. Um, you know, like we'll be able to like have our attack token and immediately just like mark of the aisle something, then then go straight to combat, then bring shark shark chariots into players. Sapling toss the turn before that kind of stuff. Um, the deck curve, yeah, lots. You know, basically it's all one, two, three, and then I got like one withering whale in there, and then we got <laughs> a couple of Captain Farron's and a Ruination, you know, but we're going to be low to the ground because Katarina is a good, a good way to use a whole lot of mana. You know, like this is, this is a card that can, you know, if you, if you have extra mana to spend, Katarina is a good place to put it. So let's go have some fun. We're going to go play some ranked. I am excited to play this deck. Um, Shark Cherry, it's a, a real fun card to play. And so the more Shark Cherry we get to play, the better if you ask me. Let's give it a try. Yeah, uh, I am going, Ooh, do I want to keep Dark Water Scourge? Yeah, right? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I'm going Noxion Fervor over, um, I'm going Noxion Fervor instead of Black Spear. I think that Noxion Fervor... Oh man, that's a difficult card for us to see. I think the Fervor is pretty good. I mean, it can help us finish off the games. Again, you know, like we're going to need that reach. Um, and that's just a good thing to respond to with, with spells. It's a good way we can kill our own thing to like level up a Callista. We can we can do some stuff with Noxion Fervor. We shall 
shall not rest until all betrayers be Must be nice having their Callista. Think about Glimpse Beyonding my Shark Chariot and not letting them get a Callista trigger. And then just drawing two cards. I think I'm gonna do that. Calling strike. You gotta kill Callista. But you don't. But I need you to heal Callista. Have the, I can't calling strike that. I would definitely calling strike that. Keep them from drawing two cards. That egg. Did Dang, that's move? a good hand. These hapless aristocrats are perfect against me. They really are. That's that's a tough one, buddy. They're just gonna level this up. That's that's a tough one. I just can't do anything. Uh, it's so rough, I just can't do anything. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to think of anything. To, I mean, I, I just can't stop this, Callista. I'm just trying to think of anything to do. Okay, there we go. Callista will be leveled up, but they don't go straight to combat. We can kill Callista. straight to combat. No, 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 no. Get over, boy. My saplings.
Just gonna go with this. I'm gonna kind of save, Please save the Dark Bar Scourge. I like just going straight to combat. Obviously, if they if they use like something that like this doesn't work out, then we have the Death's Hand. So like we're basically forcing them to. Um, Atrocity. What's that? I gotta worry about atrocity? That's not cool. Um... Oh, come on. Lame. They had a one in three chance of getting that Callista. Okay, so this is, yeah, so that's bonded with that. So we'll go Nocturne Fervor here, so then that Callista dies. I'll just block here, block here, and I guess block there. I joined them. Love to draw Katarina. Nope. They have three Callistas. We have zero. That's not fair. That's not fair. I guess I gotta save the Mark of the Isle for defense for blocking the fearsome Callista. Yeah, and, and I did use three glimpses. We have gone through half the deck. champions even with three glimpse beyond maybe we draw ruination Let's try not to play against the random deck with a whole bunch of hapless aristocrats. That was like hapless aristocrats and and Callistas. That was crazy bad. Let's try not to play against that. Well, Mark of the Isles does plus two, plus two. It would not have killed a Callista. It's not plus three, plus three anymore. It got nerfed few months ago. Yeah, it's on these back. 
Hmm. All right, potato. We'll see ya. So maybe I should have mulligan Oblivious Islander also because I didn't have anything in hand to use my Oblivious Islander on. Like, I'm not going to just go Oblivious Islander and make, like, all these ephemeral right now. I guess I should have mulliganed the Islander. Islander just has some high, high upside. Construct Katarina. No. Gross. Do not fear death. Silence. Death comes. Do not fear death. Think if well, I mean, our. Our deck does look a lot worse when we don't have any champions. Like, the, ch the champions are certainly important in our deck. And so, yes, our, our deck hasn't looked as good without the champions. See these moves up close. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? I don't want them to have deny if they have, like, you know, concussive palm. Or Will of Ionia, we can Noxion Fervor, whatever they target, and then kill Yasuo with that. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. Sure is dark, eh? Which I guess I could I guess I could have targeted the Oblivious Islander if this worked, but that'd be worse against Deny, because yeah. Or I guess no, it'd been the same against Deny. Yeah, who's got the upper hand? Life and death on the blade's edge. So now they don't have you know, now we could have Um I'm, I, I'm hoping they play Minotaur Reckoner, right? Like, that's what I want. Like, you know, they, they're seven mana. Like, I want them to just play Minotaur Reckoner or Yone or something like that. Yeah, Concussive Palm. That's great. Here's our chance. So, I get to Ruination, but I'm still down a card, but we get rid of a, a Yasuo. We're still down a card. Can we draw Katarina, please? Or I guess I'll take Captain Farron. <laughs> oh, come on. I guess that thing's a 3-6 for now. Hey, 
Hey, a champion. By my hand will Noxus rise. Grand General! Don't think they'll do five damage right now and level up Swain. Obviously, they could have twin disciplines. My legacy. Cool. Sleep is for the guiltless. Everyone's a garden. Get him. Yeah. We take down two Yasuas. I'm doing my best to make this work out. I killed the 2-2 because it was ephemeral. So, like, I dealt one less point of damage there, but I have a 1-1 one -one now. Battle station! I wish I could have played the Dark Water Scourge because I would have played it this turn. To block. Prepare the cargo. Zach, you're not working out so well. We finally drew a Callista after my opponent had Leviathan and played like two Yasuos and a Leviathan and a Swain, and then we finally found a Callista. Our first champion. We are playing six champions. That's the most you can play. You would never know it. This isn't necessarily a bad hand. I think I can probably either play Glimpse or Fervor, and we'll go Glimpse. There we go. Fluffy tails fool ya. So do we play cat on turn three? Oh, we gotta back up cat. Yeah, let's go cat. We gotta back up. Let the blood shed begin. Even if that one would die, we'd have a backup. Here's our chance. What you will. Is that the best possible hand for them? Turn two, Blade Twirler, turn three. Sentry plus. Gravitas block it is. Okay. But maybe they don't have Yasuo. Maybe they like they can't have those and Yasuo, right? No Alright, that's not Yasuo at least. At the very least, that's not Yasuo.
cast that Blade's Edge, please. Thank you. Oh, that doesn't work. Wait, that doesn't work. Never mind. I was thinking that we'd be able to get with Mark the Owls, and I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't work. Okay. Probably don't need to play Katarina and flip Katarina anymore. Probably should just play House Spider as some blockers. Or, I mean, I guess we can attack with them. Let's dance. Take that trade. That's actually pretty bad for me. We do have some champions, so we got some firepower. Minotaur Reckoner is not the easiest thing to defeat. I really wish we had 8 mana. I really wish we could triple spell. But that's okay. We're going to... So what do we want to work with? Let's start with Callista. Let's see what they play. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? It's not great. It's not great at all. I really want to play Katarina. That's what I want to do. But I don't... I don't think it's the best play, but I really want to play Katarina. really wish I could still play Katarina. So 
that should be game. Looks like I should have played Darkwater Scourge. Um, because, you know, Minotaur Reckoner will just stun and kill the Stirred Spirits. Beginning combat, they can attack. I can chump block the Blade Twirler with my Callista. Looks like I need to play the Stirred Spirits. That would have been great, too, to be able to play Stur or the Darkwater Scourge. At least Scourge and Katarina. I'll make this quick. Ravenous Flock. Got us twice. Got us with that Katarina, then got us there. Tough. Per I mean, just amazing hand for them. Riley, I mean, that they just had a as good of hand as you can have, like Blade Twirler turn two, and then Ravenous Block combo turn three, and Katarina on four. It wasn't Yasuo on four, but besides that. Still pretty great. The story of today. Opponents have had everything. Rough day today. Rough day. I don't know. I, I got nothing else. If we play against Karma Ezreal, I want to play against that. Let's play against Karma Ezreal. Man, I just, we just could never, you know, we could never breathe that game, right? Like, they never gave us any breathing room. Minotaur Reckoner is incredible. Yeah, just had, had no breathing room. Every single turn, starting on turn two, was just, you know, I wish they didn't have that. Uh, okay. Noxus. Send it all back. We'll have the sapling toss. Take out the precious pet. I do like seeing Callista. That's good. I'll try anyone you want. Yep, that was the best two drop. Play, you know, I play this in case their two drop was Legion Grenadier, then we could attack him with the two two. Um, yeah, can't really do anything against Crimson Disciple. What could those emotes been possible? What could those have possibly been about? Hey Creon, good morning. Good morning where you're at. Nothing but 
Noxian might. Yeah, and I got nothing but nothing. No Noxian might. Oh, hello there. Over here. Ride for Noxus. Think I got something. Alright, Katarina, please. A little sharp chariot. Could be worse. Oh, I can't wait. If they don't break, they'll burn. Obviously, Transfusion would be bad for me to see, but at least doing it on my turn, if they do have Transfusion, then they wouldn't have the pumped-up unit attacking. I thought this was going to work better. I really did. No. I really thought this deck was gonna work better. I played I played one practice I mean I only played one practice game. Maybe I should have played more. I only played one practice game. It was against um, Karma Ezreal and I won pretty handily. Um, I did have Katarina's, I did have Captain Farron. I had I had seven mana Captain Farron with Oblivious Islander. And you know, decimates were great at finishing it off. So, you know, and I had a Shark Chariot. I don't know, maybe I, you know, I just played the one and I was like, alright, this deck, this deck's pretty sweet. And, you know, I thought it was ready to go, but I guess not. Because we have zero points. We're at the very bottom of Masters now, after all the losses today. You could, you just gain points. We have zero. You gain and lose when you win and lose. Oh, Yasuo. Facing ya again. You can make it to Masters. Sure is dark, eh? You can do it, Alfredo. We never got to do the turn one Islander the make a make a Katarina. We never got to do that. That's that's really cool. Like the you know you make a turn two Katarina, put that you know level up your Katarina turn two, or or even just make it a two mana thing that you get to play Katarina plus like some other stuff later. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do that. We didn't lead with the shark chariot, so we can still attack there. Bring back the other shark. Stirred spirits with sapling toss is also pretty sweet. Where the stirred spirits can pump up the sapling toss to be four. Uh, be four power. I 
I don't want to just trade my stored spirits for their arachnoid sentry, though, do I? Well, let's see. Maybe I'll pump this thing up, do 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Put them down to... Put them down to 4. No, because I don't even do that. So, yeah, we'll just attack like that. Put them down to 5. Okay, I block that shark chariot. I'll take that block. A lot of people want to see their their decks in ranked. I mean, like I said, I made this deck. I know it was a, a donation deck, but I made this. I was pretty confident in it. Um, question: The statement was maybe we just play all donation decks in normal. See, most of most of the decks I play are donation decks. To be honest, um, I get a lot of donation decks. That's honestly most of the decks that I play. And and usually people like seeing decks in like viewers like watching decks in ranked more than watching decks in normal. I think so i think for the most part people want the decks in in ranked um i always do it if anybody ever has a, a deck that they want to be played in normal i am always uh willing to always willing to do that play a deck at normal All right, so I'm basically just gonna start, I'm just gonna do the Mark of the Isles on this thing so that they can't just deal 10 damage to me right now. Maybe I do have a future. See, that's, see, Aquilabot, you have to, the person that donates has to tell me what to do. It's not just like, say that you know like um you know play it normal if you want i mean i i don't have the information with each deck like if, if you if you think the deck will perform better in normal and you think it would be better for it to be a normal you have to let me know like i i again would just i would probably prefer to play the deck in rank because like if you if you do well in ranked it looks really good and and things like that but if I would rather win in normal than lose in ranked. You know, I'd rather go like you know, like three, two, four, one in normal than one, four in ranked. But I can't just I can't really make that decision whenever I don't know the deck. Does that make sense? So yeah, if you, yeah. So if you think your your deck's good, then yeah, we'll just play it in, in ranked item. And that's the other thing is like I don't want to just play decks in normal and then people and and some people that like if they donate for the deck they're in, insulted kind of thing like they think oh you should be playing you know like why are you playing my deck in normal and nothing personal well I thought we were gonna be winning this one that intimidating roar was great now this legion general just being an 11 11 like are you kidding me like I haven't seen a legion general in like six weeks and suddenly my opponent just it's like oh what's what's the best card they could have for for five mana you know like what like basically they, they had eight mana last turn what could they have well they could stun your thing with a three two and then play an 11 11 and now you're dead to your best mana card. that was just today man today was just go through the go through the just the collection what could you have that would be great. That's what our opponents had. Um, see, our deck kind of ran out of steam. We did. We we drew tear. Like we really did not draw well in those games. We really didn't 
her opponents did draw very well. I don't know. This this deck isn't as bad as what it looked, but that's just today. Ever, everything wasn't as bad as what it looked. Um, what well, we had Katarina like one game. We had Katarinas. Yasuo is tough, like when you don't have removal for Yasuo and when you draw Yasuo and when you draw all the support cards for Yasuo. I mean, yeah, we, we ran into some Yasuo opponents that were really running hot. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just... Oh, well, yeah, I mean, Intimidating Roar is great. Oh, well, that was Ephemeral Katarina. Um, yeah, I don't... I hope some of y'all on YouTube, I hope you try the deck out and just give me some feedback. Just just give me some feedback on the deck, please. Please leave some comments. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I know, like, it's it's tough, like, with the deck going 0-5 and these going 1-4. I'm not going to get hardly any views for these decks. And so if you're somebody who, who was here watching, if you're, um, you know, a, a real supporter like that, I, I, I really appreciate it. And I hope you, hope you leave some comments and, um, you know, just... Just let me know. Let me know that you're there watching them. And I, I would appreciate that. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that's it for today. That's it for Ephemeral Katarina. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for Rank Up Sunday. We'll be playing good Tier 1 decks tomorrow. And hopefully be, uh, you know, hopefully have a lot better record. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we will. But we'll be doing that tomorrow. Won't be playing any donation decks and... We'll just try out some other decks like that tomorrow. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. See you for the next video.